the best and worst ways to dress if you're short or if you have shorter legs. Hi, my name is Chi. I'm 5'2. Let's get right into it. Blazers. This is a regular lens blazer, but on someone who's short, this lens is tricky because when you button it up, which is what most people do, now it makes it look like your torso is longer than your legs. So instead, switch to a crop lens blazer, just two to three inches shorter, but it makes a whole world of difference. Now it makes your torso look shorter and your legs look longer. But chances are, you already have long blazers. Here is my secret sauce. Wear them with short bottom. Even though your top is long, but your bottom is drawing all the attention to your legs. And this is the best way to wear a longer blazer if you are short or if you have short legs. If you're petite, make sure you check out my clothing line at petitedressing.com for women under 5'4". Ever since I discovered petitedressing.com, my style went from this to this. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench, on the bench, spending all the bag like here I go again. Now let's talk about your bags. The position you hold your bag is critical, but nobody else is talking about this. The worst way to carry your bag is to let the shoulder hand like this. The problem is most crossbody bags are 21 inches in straps. So on someone who's short, this means it's gonna be on your thighs. And this is the least flattering way to carry your bag. So if you're short, make sure your shoulder straps are as short as possible, or you can just take it off and use it as a handbag. The best way to do it is to carry it on your shoulders. This is gonna draw attention above to your face. If you're short, this is the most flattering way to carry your bag. Next, size really matters. If you're short, generally speaking, small to medium sized bags are a lot more in proportion to your height and your body scale than big size bags and make it look like you are struggling because the bag is almost the size of your entire upper body. Now let's talk about your shoes. First, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Dream Pairs, for sending me these beautiful shoes. These black ankle booties, the fabric is so soft and warm and they're super easy to walk in. But if you're short, don't wear it like this. There is too much gap between your boots and your skirt. Make your legs look cut off. An easy fix, wear black tights. Now it gets rid of the gap and the unflattering horizontal line from your booties. Now your legs look like one straight vertical line. The vamp of your shoes, extremely important. Low vamp shoes, they come up lower on top of your feet and therefore the cover less like this pair, it shows your toe cleavage. And this is the most leg elongating shoes, especially when you are wearing flats. And these flats, I feel like I can live in them. Compare with high vamp shoes, cover too much on top of your feet, and therefore can make your legs look even shorter. I love wedges, they immediately make you feel taller, but make sure the bottom of your shoes is like this, not too thick. If they are too thick, they actually are gonna make you look bottom heavy and not flattering for women with short legs. I highly recommend you check out Dream Pair's website because there's a lot more styles there, very flattering for women with shorter legs. Two to five days free shipping for US orders over $50. And the best news, you can use my exclusive coupon code here to enjoy 30% off their entire website. But do hurry up because 30% off is only for the first month after I post this video and after that, you can still use the code but just for 15% off. Now let's look at your skirts. If your legs are short, the hardest lens for you to pull off is the midi lens. Even though midi skirts can be very elegant, but they can also make your legs look cut off, especially when you wear it like this, with a longer top. I see people wearing this all the time. Not only this is making your legs look shorter, your body look longer, but also this is dividing your body into half and half. This is the least flattering proportion, especially if you are shorter. But I'm not saying if you are short, midi lens is never gonna work. What I'm saying is you do need to be more selective with everything else if your skirt is midi lens. You can wear it with a shorter top. And this is the best way to flatter someone with shorter legs. The ideal skirt lens that's always gonna work for women with shorter legs is above the knee. Whenever you wear a shorter skirt like this, it's always gonna make your legs look elongated and make your body proportion look its best. And the same applies to midi dress as well. It's not that midi dresses are not gonna work on someone who has short legs, but the key 
key is are you choosing the right midi dresses with midi dresses one very critical element is where is the waistline of the midi dress this is so important if the midi dress has a higher waistline that is higher than your natural waist it's sending a very strong signal to the eye wherever it cinches your waist this is where the eye is going to pay attention and believe that under this point everything is your legs now let's look at your jeans and your pants if you watch a lot of my videos you probably already know i am a high-waisted everything kind of girl because generally speaking the higher your waist is the longer they're gonna make your legs appear so that is really important if you already have shorter legs like myself to begin with however i want to stress one thing very important not all the short girls are the same for example a 10 inch rise on a lot of petite women that's already high rise but on me it's just hitting my belly button so this to me is my mid rise it's really important that you choose a high rise relative to your body shape a lot of petite women do have shorter rise so for you you really don't want it to be too high rise because if it's too high rise this is actually gonna be less flattering because this can make it look like you have no torso at all and this is especially for those of us who are curvy petites because your chest is bigger that is already gonna take more space on your short torso so on someone who already has a short torso a very high rise pants can completely make it look unflattering and make it look like it's sticking right under your boobs I want to talk to you more about the concept of body proportion because this is critical in dressing someone who's short or having short legs the concept of short torso versus long torso sometimes gets really confusing it's very commonly misunderstood because a lot of people think if you are short then you must have a short torso take myself for an example i am 5'2 i have shorter torso compared with someone who is taller than me but if you're talking about my body proportion my torso relative to my own body i actually have a long torso and short legs body proportion there's primarily three types do you have short torso long torso or perhaps average torso which one are you watch this video to find out